This is the Leica V-Lux 20. Um, ben, actually, that's the Panasonic TZ10. This is the Leica. Oh, is it? Yeah, they look very similar, so it's easy to mix them up. We fully lab tested the Panasonic. It did really well. Could you do a first look of the Leica, please? Yeah, sure. Sorry. That's all right. Are you sure you can handle this? Yeah, sorry. 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 Right. Nice shirt, by the way. This is the Leica V-Lux 20. For such a compact camera, it has a powerful 12 time zoom. Now, interestingly for Leica, this 12 megapixel snapper comes in at under 500 pounds. Leica cameras are often handmade in Germany and cost upwards of 1,000 pounds. This one, however, is made in Japan. Now, the Leica V-Lux 20 has a host of features, including aperture and shutter speed priority modes, as well as full manual control. It's got an interesting scene mode as well called transform and what that will do is distort images. So here you can see a picture that's been stretched widthways of a chess piece and here you can see a picture of an image that's been stretched, stretched lengthways. It also takes rather nice regular photographs too. But the feature I want to talk about a little bit more is its GPS tagging. Now you might ask why is a GPS receiver a useful tool to have on a digital camera? Well if you're the sort of person who likes to take a lot of shots and goes on sightseeing holidays quite often, you could be forgiven for not taking detailed, no detailed notes of where every shot was taken. The camera will do that for you either by city or by town or landmark. Now, the GPS receiver is on the top here, it doesn't work terribly well indoors and likewise if you're outdoors and you have your finger over it then it might not receive the signal. It drains battery life too and even when the camera is switched off the GPS is still switched on so you'll have to access that through the menu system and then switch it off. You'll also have to make sure you turn it off when you're on a flight otherwise it could interfere with the pilot's navigation system. Now bear in mind that the tagging is done from where the photo is taken rather than what you're taking the photo of, as you can see here in the picture of St Paul's Cathedral taken from the Tate Modern. Now as you can see, the geographical location or landmark comes up on the 3 inch screen on the rear of the camera. You can also upload your photos to photo sharing websites such as Picasa and you can create a world map of all your albums of all your holidays that you've been on. Now the Leica V-Lux 20 also has HD video mode and that can be accessed with the use of this button here which toggles between still and moving images. The camera takes SD memory cards and there are slots here for your mini HDMI and your USB connection. So that's the Leica V-Lux 20. As we said, it's very similar to the Panasonic TZ10 that did exceptionally well in our tests, so we expect no less from this Leica model. Now if you want more information on the Panasonic, on this Leica or hundreds of other digital cameras, go to our website at which.co.uk.